hey guys welcome back to web knowledge youtube channel and today i have uh, a good news about uh, grassim speaker which has beta version and in that beta version there are lots of uh, improvements and enhancements so let's start with the release note So this, uh, this version is available only for GSC 3510 and 3505. So the date of this firmware is 9th March 2023. Okay. Now I'm looking for the enhancement added to the version. So the first option is ability to configure a time interval periodically initiate a playback request to the RTSP server for music streaming that means when you are streaming the music to the speaker from a VLC or any other third-party softwares then the speaker will uh, initiate a request to the RTSP server to play the music again and you can set that uh, interval the next feature is uh, upload your own music files to be played for music stream so previously <coughs> you don't have the option to upload your customized music file or your mp3 file so now you can upload your music file as well and currently it has no limit and as well i have not tested the music file uh, length the next option is uh, schedule when to stream music okay so that means uh, you can uh, define the uh, week days and time when you want to stream the music and it will be played from local or your RDSP server and the other option is added to the speaker beta version is receiving PTT multicasting. PTT multicasting means push to talk multicast. Okay, and the feature was uh, the, uh, available in uh, Wi Fi phones of Crash Team only. Means if you want to do PTT push to talk uh, in Crash Team, then you have to. Uh, you must have two Wi-Fi phones and then press the PTT button in the Wi-Fi phone then you can announce but in the speaker it is also added so now you can receive the PTT from any device or grass team Wi-Fi phone and the other option is added is resume a lower priority multicast once a higher priority multicast has ended that means previously the lower priority multicast was ended if there is a higher priority multicast message or announcement comes on the speaker so it will be resumed and will played after higher priority multicast ended and some of the bugs has been fixed in the beta version like ringback tone would be normal when using the GSC as a Bluetooth speaker and uh, uh, where the GSC would not play alarm sound if the alarm is triggered during call so there are few options which are fixed in the beta version and you must download and upload in your speaker and test the version so I will upload the beta version will give you a demo as well in the next video and the demo video will be shared later. Thank you. Thank you for watching Web Knowledge.